Hey everyone, it's Carla here and I wanted to give you a sneak peek at what I'm doing to set up for my annual girlfriend scrapbook getaway weekend that I host here at my house. Sorry, it's a little noisy outside. I'm going to pan around. The hubby is outside uh, cutting the grass as we speak. So I'm standing in my foyer and um, I just wanted to give you a sneak peek. Let me shut the door. Turn you around slowly. Hopefully I'm making you sick. But I'm just going to show you the living room. Like I said, I'm in my foyer. And this year I've had a little more obstacles um, with furniture this year. My dad has sold the house that I grew up in. So I inherited some of the furniture from him. So I've had to be creative in how I've set things up. But let me walk into the living room. Basically, you can see my couch is here. Normally it's at the other end of the room. And I've set up the tables. I haven't decorated yet, so I kind of wanted to give you a sneak peek. And it's, it's um, looks like it's going to storm any minute. It's been raining here a lot in North Carolina, probably every day for the past couple weeks. But this is my living room. I just wanted to kind of give you a sneak peek um, of how I set it up. I have two six-foot tables and two, I think those are, it might be nine-foot tables. So basically, I put two people at a table. I only have six of us coming, um, and my one friend, Sean, is bringing her daughter, so I'm going to set Lauren up at the end, and then Sean, and then I'm at this side, and then I have a, um, four other spots for my other friends. So I ha like I said, I haven't decorated. I'm going to go ahead and, and do that tonight. Um, oops, sorry. Ran into the... Um, so for there, but you can see I put up a lot of power strips because everybody brings their lights because as you could tell It's not even dark dark yet, and it's a little um, The lighting's not so great because there's just a ceiling fan some can lights and a couple of um, lamps um, There's a couple other pieces of extra furniture in here like a little side table that I'll move to the kitchen And that's some of the stuff that I put like a I make like a little candy station um, and not with like bling and stuff, but actual candy, M&Ms and goodies and stuff. So I set that up in the kitchen. This bookshelf wasn't here last year. My daughter no longer wanted it and I just didn't want to get rid of it. So it's taking up a little bit of floor space, but I think we should be okay. There's another little black table, um, that she uses in her dorm room that I can move out, um, if we need. So as you can see, everybody's got a, a nice, um, bit of space and what I'm going to do is, I will shoot some video. It'll probably be in the morning, so the lighting's a little bit better before the kids all get here. Because, um, as many of you know, I do daycare, which is down below on the lowest level of my home. And um, that's where everybody sleeps. So what I might do is um, shoot a little video of that in the morning so you can see a before and after of that as well. Because once um, everybody's being picked up at 2.30, because I'm closing half a day. And um, I realize I'm shaking. Sorry, I'm on my phone. Let me try to stabilize that a little bit better um a lot of right now the playroom is set up just like a classroom and then uh, after the kids are picked up I move everything or most of everything there's some shelving that's just not worth moving because it's so heavy and I'll move that to the other room that's a playroom so, and then everybody brings their air mattresses in their bedding and that's where they sleep downstairs we craft here all weekend they come Thursday and uh leave Saturday, Sunday afternoon so it's a lot of fun but I just kind of wanted to give you a a quick peek at the before and I'll walk around there's my computer as many of you might know too that I'm a huge reality TV junkie and I've got the Big Brother live feeds playing right now they're on mute so let me walk around so you can see the room from the other side here's another little table and I like to leave this one this one's a nice sturdy table on and um, people like to put an extra cricket um, or extra supplies there. But if I need to move it, I can. That's the towels for the ladies that I'll carry downstairs tomorrow. That's my old TV cabinet, but we did get a new TV. And this cabinet here was from my dad. Um, normally, this is pushed up against, and that's where we put the door prizes. Everybody brings two door prizes valued at $10, and we wrap them. And we pull tickets, uh, one on Friday and one on Saturday, and we play dirty door prize. So that's a lot of fun. So I got this shelf, so that was another thing. Um, from my dad that I kind of had to because normally the TV was in here but we got a new TV I guess it's as the saying goes if you have it or build it it shall come so we had our old TV in there which we since donated so we have a flat screen um, we finally got a bigger TV and um, the recliner that's got to be moved upstairs 
to my bedroom. As you can see, my messy kitchen in there. I've got some things that I've collected from my dad in baskets um, that he insisted that I bring um, from his house to my house. So, And I don't like clutter. I don't like a lot of knickknacks and a lot of clutter, so it's been driving me crazy the past couple months. And having this girls weekend has allowed me and kicked me in the butt to get it organized. Um, so there's looking back. And like I said, once I get it all set up um, and decorated a little bit better, um, probably in the morning, I'll shoot an after video. And then I'll shoot some video once everybody's here so you can kind of see a lot of people bring shelves and put them up on the table. And, and I'll do that um, so everybody can see. Because last year's um, weekend I had some people ask questions about that from what I remember. So this is my little living room. And I'll pan into the kitchen, which is you'll have to... Um, excuse the mess. This is my eating kitchen. Um, there's my messy table. And then, of course, the kitchen. And this is where I'll put that little round table. And some of this stuff all has to be cleaned off tonight. And I've got to mop and clean up the kitchen and uh, get it all set up. I'll have drink stations, like I said, candy and dessert stations. And then my husband does all the cooking for us. We eat a couple meals out and we go on field trips. Let me walk in and I'll show you the dining room. Hopefully I'm make, not making anybody sick. Please excuse my messy kitchen. My daughter made dinner for us tonight. I've got some dishes that I've already washed stacked up. But I wanted to show you the dining room. In here is when it's dark. Let me turn the light on. See these chairs are normally in my living room. Um, and then the table's moved the side and this is where I'll set up the cutting stations. I'll bring my dye machine down, my Cricut down in the carts and everybody brings their carts, their cartridges and we just kind of share the Cricuts. So this is kind of like a little loungy area um, that I set up. People can come in and, and relax. We sit in here and chit chat while others can use it as a working station to um, make their dyes or use the machines and it's just another place for us to escape to. Sometimes we'll sit in here and chit chat and relax. And um, as you can see, a little soccer table. I need to move that down in the daycare tomorrow once the kids all go home. That's normally set up in here because I love foosball. And then we're back to the foyer. As you can see, um, see those tables used to belong to my mom and I didn't have the heart to give them away. So they're there. If I have to move them, they're marble tops with gold leaf legs. If I have to um, move them, I can always throw them in my cluttered bedroom, which is stacked full of furniture as well. Um, so that's just a quick little overview. And we're back to the hallway and to my living room. So I will uh, edit this video and add to it the after. So this is the before and then you guys will see the after. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hey everyone, I promised you an after I decorated um, video and I'm going to have to move very quickly because I was so busy today I didn't even charge my phone much and it's about to die. But this is the foyer, and you can see I put a little bit of decorations, little window clings, things that I've had in my stash. And I decorated the foyer with a lot of different things that I've picked up over the past couple of years. Dollar store, Mighty Dollar, um, you know, party stores and stuff on clearance. So just looking back to the kitchen. Um, these things are really, really neat. They're like wall clings. They don't require tape or anything, just the static keeps them. Um, to the wall and I love those because it's instant decoration and I picked those up at the Mighty Dollar a couple years ago and I keep them so that just goes upstairs to the bedrooms so here is where all the magic is going to happen it's our scrapbook um, getaway weekend for all my girlfriends they should be here within a half an hour or so all the daycare kids were picked up about a half an hour ago and I've been frantically running around um, getting all the last minute details so let me see if I can get a pan of the room um, decorated the mantel. There's some more of the window. I mean the wall clings. And this is how I've set up the room. Everybody has a spot. And 
Sean's bringing her daughter, so I made a little special spot for Lauren here. Everybody has a name tag, a schedule. Lisa and Yolanda, thank you so much. I went ahead and um, gave one to Lauren. She has a little scrapbooker as well. I got her some little extra goodies for her um, for the weekend. A little bucket of goodies. But everybody has a treat bag from you from what you've made. I can't wait for them to see that. I have a schedule of activities which talks about all the meals, the field trips, and all that. And everybody has a name tag and then tickets for our dirty door prizes that we'll pull. And then my table mate gift to everyone is an idea that I got from a Yolanda, um, who is Yoli Bean here on YouTube. And I have a separate video that I'll be um, showing of those. Basically, it's a journaling kit. So I made everyone one of those. So again, lots of beachy decorations in here and everybody's got their spot i got power strips ready to go got it taped down across the floor so no tripping hazards happen we are open for business see isn't that cute another wall cling and um sorry it's still gray today happy hour we are open Yes, we'll have some mixed drinks later. This is our door prize table. You can see these are my two gifts. And then I have little mason jars with a blue ticket and a red ticket. Everybody will be able to add their tickets a little bit later. And we'll pull door prizes. And that's all scheduled out for the whole weekend. So this is looking back. And I'll be sitting over there. Get a lot of room for everybody to spread out. I've got all the trash cans at all the different stations. So that everybody can um, just work away. So, hope I'm not making you dizzy. And again, I'm moving fast. So, this is looking into the kitchen. It's a little neater this time. Decorated the table a little bit. The windows looking out to the garden are decorated. I just love this Manda Villa vine. Um, it's really doing wonderful without the sun this year. We've had very little sun the past couple weeks. And we're going to shift. This is looking back to the front door. We've got all the cars out on the street, as you can see, to make room in our driveway. For everybody that's the hall bath so we have a bathroom right here on this level for everybody and then this walks down to the playroom and I'll show you that in a little bit separate so I'll just show you I've got everything set up in here this is gonna be my little candy station and snack station I have a bunch of waters we have a chest of ice gonna be coming soon so that'll go right here I have a drink station everybody's supposed to bring a cup with a lid so they'll be able to make their drinks and then here's some of the candy that I've already put out. We've got fruit and stuff. We have a couple that are um, watching what they eat. But I do have a bunch of goodies and treats, brownies and cookies that are to come. We'll be out, out here. And then ignore the dishes. The daycare kids left, and I haven't done the dishes from them. Um, some plates and, you know, just the basics. Watermelons that are going to be cut up soon. Ignore the dishes. Um, my husband's homemade salsa. Um is ready to go for everybody to get here and then of course we have in the morning we have bagels and we'll be making um, breakfast for everyone and then again we're right back to the drink station and then I'll show you the dining room loungy type area I've decorated the um, lamps with little little grass skirts sorry it's gonna be dark you're not gonna be able to see decorated our cutting station these are just some of the Cricut cartridges. I didn't bring them down. I brought the ones that I thought people would use more. I still need to bring my Disney ones down. As you can see, I've got some blue lights running. I also brought down just a small selection of my newer dies um, for people. But they are more than welcome to go up to my scrapbook room and dig around and bring down what they want. So I have my um, Sizzix machine and my Cricut machine all ready to go. And I'm getting so excited. I can't wait for everybody to get here. Usually Nancy is here. My friend Nancy is usually here. She lives the closest. There's our little tiki decorations. My husband is out there getting the driveway ready. You can probably see him right out there. And everybody's been pitching in. This is a whole family event. My daughter's been helping me. Um, we've been working feverishly for the past couple days. Moving furniture, getting it all set up. Today we've been decorating. And uh, Tim does all the shopping. He went to the Sam's earlier and did all that. We got in my daughter Carly's wonderful. She's helped me set up the kitchen, helped out with the kids today. And um, I just can't wait. So I hope you guys like it. I will come back. 
I might do it in the morning once everybody's here and settled in. We tend to sit around and chit chat and run our mouth whenever because we haven't seen each other in a couple months. So we end up sitting around and chit chatting more than doing a whole lot. So I'll probably make a video in the morning so you can see everybody's tables, the shelves that come out and all their setups. And then I'll do some other videos of, of what they're working on. So let me walk downstairs and I'll show you the playroom. Hey everyone, I just wanted to give you a before shot of the playroom before I take everything out. It's, look, it's almost, well, it's a quarter of 9 a.m. Uh, the kids have, none of the kids have arrived today yet, and I just wanted to shoot a quick video before they come bolting in. Everybody's running late today, I guess. Um, but this is my playroom, and I'm sorry it's so dark. It's another rainy day. Um, here in North Carolina. I saw on the news this morning that since June 1st, we've gotten 12 and a half inches of rain. That's a lot of rain, and we're due to get some more today. But this is my playroom. That's where the kids enter. And all this, well, most of this will all be cleared out today to make room for my girlfriends for our scrapbook getaway girlfriend weekend. And again, I'm sorry that it's so dark. Let me see if I can walk to this side of the room. Maybe it'll get brighter. Lighting in here is not so good. No, it's not much better. But basically I have another room. We've converted part of the garage to another playroom. So a lot of this, these are just pillows, uh, a lot of this equipment and tables and bedding and stuff will be gone. And hopefully when I shoot the after video later this afternoon, we'll have a little bit better light so you guys can see um, what it looks like. Basically, this shelf is not going anywhere. This is one of the heavy, heavy duty ones. Um, all this goes, all the cars go, that shelf stays. Um, I take all this out and uh, I leave the chair, which you can barely see in the dark, even though the lights are on. And all the housekeeping equipment, all that will go to the other room, the table and the chairs, the playpen. This bookshelf will stay because it's pretty big. It's a display from a store. The pillows and little chairs and stuff will go. The little activity table will go, the puppet theater. Um, and I'll move all these puppets and stuff. As you can see, I love puppets. But all that other, all the big shelves will stay. So this is... The before, just to give you a quick view, we scrapbook upstairs on the room right above us is my living room. And then down here is where I spend all my days with my little kiddos. And I do have a bathroom down here for everybody. There's a shower and everything. Right now it's set up for the kids. It's all kid friendly. Um, but all this extra stuff will be moved out. And it'll look different. Um i got to clean out the showers where I keep extra car seats and blankets and stuff. So all that's got to come out later this afternoon to make way for my girlfriends. Hopefully you guys can see. Um, I leave all the artwork and all that up. I don't take that down. That's just too much. Um, and uh, that's it. So wish me luck today. And I cannot wait for 4 o'clock when everybody starts rolling in. Talk to you later, guys. Bye. All right, guys, I'm back, and we're going to walk into the playroom. Like I said before in the last video, I'm not able to move this shelf. It's just too, too heavy. But as you can see, the playroom has been moved. A lot of the stuff has been moved and carried into the other room. I've vacuumed and scrubbed the walls and sanitized as much as I can. Since it is a daycare, I like to keep it as clean. With everything moved out, it's a great opportunity for me to do some deep cleaning um, before my friends arrive. So as you can see, let me back up again. Basically, everybody's going to come in and line up their um, air mattresses or their pull-out beds, their little roll-up beds that they bring. And uh, I see my battery's about to die, so I'm going to have to talk even faster. So I covered up the diaper changing table, and that's where I set up the towel station with some special soaps and hand washes that I've um, put out for them to use if they haven't forgot to bring it. Just something nice to put out. There's a bunch of hand towels, a bunch of towels, 
And then I cleaned off the top of the cubbies and just put some place for them to spread out some of their stuff and some more lotion. And then in the bathroom, I cleared out all the daycare stuff, cleaned out the shower, put a little rug out. Um, I don't have a hand towel uh, rack here because I took it down because the kids tended to pull on it while they were being potty trained and it, it just scared me. So that's what those little brackets are. So I put some washcloths, a little hand towel. Oop, there I am. Let me get out of the way. Some soaps and um, I have a paper towel dispenser up here. I probably should move my, some of my daycare stuff. That's the kids soap and stuff. So I probably should move that real quick. So this is the bathroom. It's nice and bright um, for them in the morning. And uh, this is looking out, sorry, to where they'll enter. Um, a lot of times we use this door to come in and out of unloading their car. So um, they'll bring everything through here and up the steps. It's just a little easier. Um, but I, I just wanted to give you an idea of what it looked like before everybody's here. And then again, I'll try to run down. I don't know if I can do it tonight. It might be too dark. I might have to wait till tomorrow after they are all awake and show you what's, once it's all set up and they're all here. So that's just my playroom. I'm getting very excited. It's about 10.04. We should have our first arrivals any minute. So I better get upstairs and do my last few little to-dos on my to-do list and greet everybody for our girls' scrapbook getaway weekend. Woohoo! Bye, guys. Good morning YouTube. I just wanted to give you a really quick um, look into the room after the ladies all got everything set up. A bunch of them in the kitchen eating breakfast. Tim's just made an awesome breakfast. Bacon and eggs and fruit trays and all kinds of stuff. But as you can see, let me see if I can pan up. You'll hear the printer going off. We're going to go shopping today so I'm printing off coupons to all the local, you know, Michaels, AC Moore and everything. So here's the room. This is Lauren's spot, and then Sean's next to her, and then Tara, and then Becky are down at the end. So I'll walk down this way. Let me scoot back. I hope I'm not making you sick. So there, Lauren's working on a little birdhouse. She's been crafting. She's got all her little duct tape. Sean doesn't have her lights on yet. It's kind of early this morning. Everybody's getting ready, and we're going to go shopping. She has her shelves and everything. A lot of us were up watching Big Brother. A bunch of us love Big Brother. Tara's got her area all cleaned up from last night. And there is Becky's setup. Everybody's got their totes and their bags, their shelving. We'll come around here, and this is Carol's over here on the back side. She's been working away on a, a mini kit by Bo, I think Bo Bunny maybe. And then next to her is Nancy get through here and last but not least is me my area is a little clean I was working on um, I'm working on a project for a challenge for one happy crafty chicks not too shabby challenge that she's going that she's having right now so I've been working on that project and that's it so everybody's having a good time we were up Hey guys, a couple of you asked to see what the sleeping arrangements were. Here's all the air mattresses lined up in the playroom. So you guys have an idea um, of what it looks like. So as you can see, they're just all lined up. We've had a wonderful weekend. It's Sunday and everybody's getting ready to go. So there you go. Now you know.
That's Good morning, Tim. What are you doing? I'm getting ready to make some bacon. Some bacon. <laughs> a little bit of bacon. I've got 15 pounds, no, 10 pounds of bacon and a bunch of hungry people that's going to eat some bacon. I've even got my bacon tie on. Ah, very cool. All right, thanks. Get to making the bacon. Making the bacon. <laughs> All right.